Technetium 99M, also known as TC, is a type of radioisotope. A radioisotope is an isotope of an element that is radioactive. Radioisotopes are made when the number of nucleons in an element is altered. It is made through the process of neutron bombardment. This is when a material is blasted with neutrons in a machine called a cyclotron. Technetium 99M was the first artificially created element and has a half-life of six hours. Developed by Dr. Glenn T. Seaborg and Emilio Segre, TC is most commonly used in medical diagnostics. In fact, 85% of imaging is done using it. About 50% of the time that it is used, it is used for bone scans. TC is also used to monitor blood flow and the health of various organs. We're all just protons, neutrons, electrons, the rest on a Sunday. We're gonna Monday and yes, someday soon we'll be singing the old tune. Waves of energy that travel at the speed of light are called gamma and x-rays. Technetium 99M emits gamma rays. These waves can travel further through the air than either alpha or beta particles. X-rays and gamma rays come from different places in an atom. X-rays come from the electron shells, while gamma rays come from the nucleus of an atom. Gamma and X-rays are both generally blocked by various thicknesses of lead or other heavy metals. There are many advantages of technetium 99M. TC allows doctors to conduct precise scans of the human body without inflicting pain or harmful radiation. TC produces low amounts of gamma radiation. This is beneficial as it minimizes damage to the body but still emits enough radiation to be detected in the body by a gamma ray sensitive camera. It is especially good as it has a short half-life of 6 hours. Because of TC, doctors today can locate tumors in the liver, spleen, bone and thyroid and treat it before the tumour becomes detrimental to a patient's health. Technetium 99M can also be used to mount the body's circulatory system. This is only possible when TC is combined with a tin compound. This allows doctors to find abnormalities in a patient's system. Cause we're all just protons, neutrons, electrons, I rest on a Sunday, work on a Monday. Although there are many advantages to the use of technetium, there are also some disadvantages as well. All radioisotopes that are used in medicine have the possibility of giving patients cancer. This includes technetium 99M. Ingesting TC will lower the chances of getting cancer more than inhalation. Ingestion of it is usually the way that TC is put into the body. TC is only a health hazard when it enters the body system. Overall, the benefits of Technetium 99M outweigh the problems associated with it, making it suitable for use in medicine. It is most beneficial in medical diagnostics and will allow doctors to safely and painlessly scan a patient's body so that tumours can be discovered and treated. Although there is a slight chance that Technetium 99M may give a patient cancer, the odds of getting cancer from TC are definitely smaller than not.